Hello guys, welcome to the Code Mechanic. Today I will show you how you can install the Rust and set up your development environment in Windows 10. So, <clears throat> first of all, uh, I will give you the these links in the description of this video. Uh, first of all, we need to install uh, the Rust. So you will come on this website and download the Rust init file for your PC so you see there are two options one is for 32 bit pcs and the other is for 64 bit pcs i'm using 64 bit pc so i will download the 64 bit version uh, the other software you need to install is the visual studio code uh, its installation is very easy you will you would be able to do it by yourself i'll give you the link in description and when the download is complete open that file and uh, you can read this message if you want to uh, it's saying about something about uh, C++ build tools but we will do that later so I'll proceed with the installation so it will download start downloading all the necessary files from the internet you'll have to wait for it Okay, when the Rust installation is complete, we need to add path to the environment variables. First, let me search for the environment variables. Click on the environment variables, path, edit, click on the new, and then uh, add here this path. Okay, so now let me open the command prompt and we will go to the desktop then create a new directory for rust project and go into the rust project directory here create our new hello world project uh, oh sorry i got the statement wrong cargo new hello world cargo is the package manager for uh, rust so here you see in this directory that we have got some files project files and here is this main.rs file this file contains the our code for the rust and uh, now we will compile this main.rs file first we go into the src directory and then compile it with rust c space main.rs okay but uh, we got an error uh, what uh, what this error means is that we need to install uh, C++ build tools uh, from the microsoft.com so I'll show you how to do that we go to the Microsoft web website uh, I will give you the link in the description and we come to the section of tools for Visual Studio 2019 and we click on the build tools for Visual Studio 19 download we download this file and uh, when this file is downloaded open that file and uh, it will take some time click on continue it will download and install and when it is installed it will show you some uh, options so you need to select C++ build, uh, build tools from this menu and then click on the install button below uh, it will take quite some time because uh, because of its large size so you will have to wait okay now the build tools are uh, installed successfully now we can go and compile our rust code uh, but first let me show you the code inside main.rs file here is the basic hello world code in our main.rs file so we are going to compile this code rust rc main.x okay our code is compiled successfully and now i'm going to execute this main.exe and congratulations our code has successfully executed okay now we need to set up the rust environment in visual studio code so we go to extensions and search for the rust and here you see the uh, suggestions for the rust extensions i'll install the very first one 
and uh, in some books or YouTube videos uh, you may be directed to install Rust RLS uh, extension but uh, I cannot find it here so I will install its uh, alternative which is Rust Analyzer so I will install this Rust Analyzer this will do the same work as Rust RLS it will take some time download it okay when these extensions are downloaded and installed successfully then we will go and open our rust project in vs code select folder and our project has opened so now after the extensions are loaded successfully okay now we it is showing options of run and debug so we will click on the run option here and you see it's compiling and there you go it's showing output and printed out the hello world so that's it i hope you like the video